in mind how many people actually are in the U.S., a thousand cases. It's good to know that we know where they are, but it's not hundreds of thousands of cases not yet. yet no. Well, I, I'm hoping that it's not going right. to be. Well, it, I'm it, hoping that they're going to be able to, to get a handle on it because people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're washing their hands. Mm -hmm. They are self-quarantining uh, if they feel uh, maybe they should be. Yeah. I think people are starting to recognize all over the country that this is no joke. Yeah. This yeah. is not a, a left-wing conspiracy to get you-know-who out of the White House. That's not what this is. This is real. This is people getting sick from something that is in the air. Okay, so the CDC's recommendation of social distancing is why we are audience free today and why we're not the only ones following. Public events are being canceled across the country, schools are being shut down, and people are working from home. Yeah. So the question, I guess, to the panel is are y'all doing anything? Specifically, well, I took a bath in Purell this morning. <laughs> and, Don't you uh, do that every day? I do that, that every day. And it was quite refreshing. <laughs> yes. yes, yeah. So I'm. You I'm, had I'm doing that much for now? Yeah. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. doing my you part. Are. My, my kids' school closed, mm -hmm. um, and so they're they're home. And um, my mom is in her 70s, mm -hmm. and so you know she's part of the at-risk group. And so I think we're oh, all. They say only if you have a compromised. Yes, business. she has asthma. So there you so go. So we're yeah. being very careful, of course, yeah. at, at home, extra careful, because uh, she lives with us. Um, but I, I think everyone should be extra careful, because if, if you yourself are not at risk, I'm sure that there's someone that you either live with or work with or can come into contact with that is at risk. Yeah. And so you have to take care of your yeah. fellow neighbor. Yeah, I do. And I think that there's, there can be a fine line between what is precaution, right, what is taking precaution and what is panic. And so I think, um, I think a lot of it has to be decided, yes, we're going to take precautions, we're going to um, Purell, mm. pray that God's got us in our tomorrows, right? We pray that um, this coronavirus is I extinguished, that it, that it stops in its tracks. And I love the fact that we can identify that this is precautionary, right? We have affected cases, those are serious. We've had deaths, those are serious. Um, they're not to be taken lightly at all. But I also think we're not, we shouldn't be in a state of panic because what we're doing and taking cues from our president is taking early, strong, bold actions to keep this at bay as much as we possibly can right now. We're still on the front end of this. We're on the very front end of this now. And so I, I feel comfortable and confident that because of strong leadership and because of the advice. Where's the strong leadership? Yeah, I have to disagree he does, with you on that He has one. told us nothing of any importance. What do you mean by that? Trump. He says that it's nothing. He's actually proposing no a middle class deal. tax halt right now. He's doing we're not a lot of things about to help financial. people might have to stay home for work, talking about insurance well, but packages. The problem I think there's some great things home happening. Is that 69% of Americans live pay to, paycheck to paycheck? That's right. There are uh, only 12 states plus DC, you know, have paid uh, leave, and then you have one in four Americans that don't have paid leave, and, and especially low wage workers. Totally so you have great people point. that are going to work when they don't feel well because it makes the difference for their family. So I think when you look at the response, Elizabeth, from this administration, it really um, hasn't been good. This I don't think that we've seen well, here, real I, leadership. I, I he won't, he's can, not going to get reelected because we don't of even this, have real opinion. testing. But, and we have real leadership. Illinois, I, but the governor of Illinois was on television yes. just this morning, and he said that he's been on the phone with the federal government, and they don't have enough testing capabilities. And they've had a lot of deaths. Not a lot of deaths, but they've had 19 cases detected he, in Illinois. He himself has. has he, didn't he shake hands with Doug Collins the other day, who also That's was in contact with somebody who had the coronavirus, and he has not gotten. Tested. Have you gotten but tested? What, no, there's no test kits. Why? Case. There why? are no test kits. Well, here's the deal. If we, the, the president's medical advisor, his chief physician, Fauci. says that he has no... I only believe Fauci. Well, believe both. I think we should prepare. I think we should pray. I'm not going to let coronavirus rule me and let it be an idol. I'm, I'm going so, to so use not, Purell I'm not right listening now. to Dr. Bonespurs either. I'm not. Here's the deal. We are in a position right now, economically and from a national security standpoint, to be able to withstand... Um, and take care of our people right now. And these early actions by the president on travel restrictions, et cetera, I do believe long term will help our country. Um, I'm trying to create a system in our, even our home. We've got kids who are super worried about this or having anxiety about this. I think we need to look out for helpers. We've got chief medical officers who are telling us to take precautions. We're doing that. We've got an economy right now that has had a buffer and is going strong that can handle it. Really? This. Yes. The stock and market's so that's in why, the toilet. Right now, but we have had a buffer over time that can absorb this. 
And I do think our leadership right now is pointing us to say, hey, this is not a panic situation. This is a precautionary situation. We're going to use Purell, Purell wash but, our hands, and we're going to be not, okay, well, how guys. How can it not be a panic we're situation okay. when you have people dying from this? You have. Can the, I the, talk? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, I think part of, I think both things can be true. I think we can have yeah. a robust economy, and you're 100% right. We are the country, I would say, is the most capable of handling this than any other country. I think no. part of the problem is Trump keeps telling Americans, stay calm, it will just go away, it's really working out. And we're seeing the death rate and cases go up, and people are saying because the testing kits aren't here in the way that they should be, there's probably more cases than we realize. And I think it's different for someone like my friends living in Arizona, like they're just not at the same panic level that like mm -hmm. New Yorkers are. Sure. So I do think this could be something that like the coastal elites are feeling in a different way than people in the middle of the country, which is more than fine. But I will say the political implications of this could be staggering. Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden have both canceled all their rallies for you know, the foreseeable future. And the idea of having a presidential race where you can't have the president or, and I assume he'll cancel his rallies as well, doing any kind of rope lines whatsoever, make no mistake the kind of impact one-on-one -on -one interactions can have with people. And I do think that if people start getting really scared and people start panicking because they're not secure about what's happening, then I do think things could get a whole lot Here's worse. Here's what I know. I think that fear and isolation are tools of the enemy. And I think right now in this time of physical isolation or if you have to desocialize, <laughs> find, find a way to love somebody and hug them in a way that you can because we need our hearts and our heads to be cared for as well. And I do think we're in a state where we can we can love each other well during this also. I'm going to love you, you very well right yeah. now <laughs> and tell you I have, we have to leave.